them out the bureau. All right, give me the location. Downtown Vinewood. Good, good. Well, that's everything. I just need to show Michael something, and then this job is a go. to go out with me. <laughs> You're right. If it was easy, everyone would marry bank robbers. <laughs> okay, bye. Yeah, these phones better not be tapped, babe. Hey, how you doing? Ah, pretty good, under the circumstances. About to knock off a federal government building. Well, meanwhile, my psychotic former BFF is trying to figure out a way to kill me. But hey, the meds are kicking in. So life's good. Well, exactly. Franklin got us what we need. Put those on. Then what? Then head in there and uh, rig up a slightly more sophisticated fire trap than we've got here. So, I'm guessing drapes and scented candle aren't gonna do the trick, huh? No, 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 no. You'll have incendiaries and a remote device. Now, they need to be strategically placed so we can ensure that we still have access to the server and that the structure maintains its integrity. Now, once you get out, trigger the bombs, meet up with Franklin and the crew, and we'll intercept the emergency call, and you all go in as firemen. Oh, got it? Yeah, I got it. Sounds a little idiotic. Well. Under the circumstances, it was the best I could do. And if you remember, you were the one who chose to do it like this. Oh, come on. But, you know, Trevor has a point about you. You whine too much. Yeah, fuck you. Oh, don't even try it. Don't worry. What's happening, Michael? Ah, 
my shift's about to start down at the FIB building. Yeah. Get Gustavo and Norm on board. Be ready for my signal in the fire truck. Okay, at least half the crew is serious. But we'll be ready to do this thing, dawg. Is it your first day? Go through the turnstile and head up. Yeah, they keep changing the contractors. Yeah, because guys like me keep losing their jobs and agreeing to do this for less. All right, head up. Ah, shit. Crap. Thirty. Hey, wait till I shake it off before you mop the floor.
They don't work so hard. We're all leaving in a minute. Hey, charge is set. I'm out of the building. Hey, dog, we right around the corner. We got your gear in here with us. Shit's in motion, people. We ready to build. Y'all ready for this? In and out, homes. Let's do it. Detonate the incendiaries, Frank. I'll get this turnout gear on. emergency signal, right? Yep. We'll be the only idiots running into that burning mess. So don't worry. Pull it up there by the curb. All right, let's get in there. Painkillers, all that loose notory weed at the time. Yeah, probably a little bit of both. Cool, dog. Thanks for clearing that shit up. All right, we're going across to the far stairwell and up to the top floor. We gotta go across. Take the stairs to the top floor. Stairs are here. We take them up to 53. Not much further. Let's punch it. Kinda. 
That explosion must have knocked me out, man. this fire truck as soon as possible. I'm working on it. Yeah, because if they connect the dots, man, I don't know. Man, I'm working on it. Any minute, they'll be looking for us. I mean, those guys in the building you took down. If they knew, who else is going to know? It ain't worth thinking about, dog. Trust me. I'm going to get us there as fast as I can. All right, shit. Shit. I just don't want to run into something. Man, y'all don't want to run into Trevor, bro. That's who you don't want to run into. <laughs> You're right. So, uh, take us to our get-out, avoiding the cops, and my dear friend Trevor Phillips. All right, man, I'll try. Try real hard, okay? Oh, yeah, shit. 
I don't like speaking ill of the Depart, know what I'm saying? But that dude was in over his head. Yeah, he wasn't top draw, but I thought we could carry him through it. I guess I thought wrong. Well, anyway, we made it out. So we got that to be thankful for. Norm's people will get his paycheck and the standard expenses. Man, you really gonna miss him, huh? Yeah, I don't like losing any of my crew. But, uh, Norm was special. He liked you, man. Yeah, he looked up to me, maybe. Man, when looking up to you, you got that poor fool killed. Hey, let's the place up here. Keep your heads down, you hear? <laughs> well, what? I never thought I'd see you clowns again. We did it! <laughs> Fucking A Ray, we did it! Ow! How was it? For a suicidally dangerous mission impersonating emergency services while working a high security government facility, it was surprisingly uplifting. <laughs> <laughs> Come here. Give me oh. some of that. Hey. Ow. Ah. Ow. 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 Oh. Sorry, I forgot. You forgot <laughs> my very, very obvious illness? It happens. Uh, whatever. Hey, let's get drunk. Franklin, fill up the glasses. Got some real vintage moonshine, hillbilly type shit. We're gonna be seeing triple and committing incest in minutes. <laughs> just the shit to make a man forget his trouble. Oh, exactly. I am just gonna get drunk as a skunk, and then I'm gonna reverse engineer a webcam and spy on those sorority girls again. <laughs> I'm oh. ill, okay? Give me a break! Cheers! <laughs> <coughs> man, that's some foul ass shit! Oh. <laughs> All right, boys, I hate to break up the ritual, but I gotta go square things up with Davy and Dick uh, For serious? Hey, I just want them to know that now that we did this thing for them, and we have the evidence that we did this thing for them, that we can all go our own separate ways, you know? Well, fuck it. You want me to go with you, dog? No, stay. Have fun. I gotta do this alone. Right now. The sooner the better. It's one way to look at it, eh? Right. <laughs> Besides, I want to put this shit to bed. Then I can figure out Trevor, you know? Get my life back. Go back to being bored and miserable and loving every motherfucking minute of it. Here, enjoy the incest juice. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you boys sure know how to put the fun back in midlife crisis. We hit the bureau for you, Dave. I'm done. Yes, I saw that. Meet me at the court center and I'll debrief you. I'm out, Davey. From now on, done. I appreciate that. I'm trying my best for you, but, but you and Trevor attacking Merriweather? Repeatedly? It doesn't help. That's Trevor's thing. Whoever's thing it is, it's unauthorized and it's dumb. They've been sniffing around my office. We really need to talk. Really? <sighs> all right, all right. I'll come to the court center. Fuck.
Ah, see? Davy, that's why we're such great friends, huh? Because we're old school. We like old-fashioned things. Newspapers, celluloid. Good guys, bad guys. We're friends? Well, I don't know. You tell me. We did what you said, right? Got those people off your back? Now you're gonna do like you said and cut me loose, right? Things are not gonna work out quite that way. There's a bit of a problem. That's right, Davy boy, you could say that. Steve, I told you I would handle oh, this. Oh, because you've handled everything so fucking well so far, haven't you? All right, I admit things have been a little unorthodox, I'm but- I'm fucking orthodox! You've ruined my career! Agent Sanchez, arrest these men, both oh, of them. Steve, oh, Steve, whoa! On, please. You fucking kidding me? Arrest me for what? For multiple counts of every fucking crime under the fucking sun. Oh, well then let me rephrase. Why? Why? Because. Because you don't want me to testify in court about our various business dealings, right? Agent Sanchez, apprehend the suspect! Agent Sanchez, you'll do no such thing. Now, Steve, we agreed to speak to Michael, to try and explain things to him, not this. This causes problems for us all. Okay, okay. Then put your gun down and we'll talk. After you, buddy. Come on, where's the trust? You can do better than that. They know or think they know that I'm the one that was behind the incident. Uh-huh. And now you want me to clean up your mess again, right? Before I end up at the bottom of the ocean. Fucking good luck with that. Put the weapons down, boys. Fun time is over. We've got you. Anti-American activity. Put your weapons down, all of you. Who the fuck are you with? With me. You fucking rat. I knew you didn't have the balls for this. For the record, I'm a patriot. I love my country. Put the weapons down. Fuck you! We all know you agency boys are ball deep in a plot to drive up your funding by any means necessary. Put the gun down, gentlemen. Who the fuck are they? Fucking Merriweather! What are they doing here? Steve, put your gun down. No! Oh, same goddamn leg! Go! Fuck! Bullshit! Davy, until some more of these guys kill each other. Opportunity. Now run! Touching reunion and all, but I'm about to get jumped by a team of rogue agents. T, you got the vantage point. Give Dave a hand. This is the guy who iced Brad. And would ice me? I'd be better off putting my sights on him.
They didn't mention this shit in the guidebook! What are Merriweather doing at this party? You tell me. You're the one hitting their planes, trains, and boats. Oh, no! Another Merriweather team on the walkway across from me! Let's move on the These guys! Someone clocks my chopper. Hey, thanks, T. This is our shot. I'm making a run for the parking lot. Get clear and we'll talk. Come on, it's over here. This many bodies, there'll be cars in the lot. Put as much dirt between you and this place as you can. And do not contact me until you're absolutely sure you're clear. Mike, before you disappear, we need to have a conversation. So conversate. I'm taking this one. So long. Be careful, Davy. Shit, chopper. Smoking, huh? Come on. No, no, no. That's bad for you, don't you know, huh? Yeah, well, maybe it's got a little something to do with being caught in the middle of a three-way firefight between two government agencies and a private militia. You know, it gets me a little stressed out. Okay, but we still need you alive, Mikey boy. I mean, you know, at least for now. Unless, of course, you have another surprise for me. Huh? Maybe something to do with another inappropriate friendship? Yeah, that wasn't exactly Dave's fault. No, no, no. He's just the friendly face of a corrupt government agency looking to further his career by dealing with an equally corrupt and full to the fucking brim with bullshit low rent hood. Listen, Trevor. Listen, I've been meaning. Uh, you know, I've been meaning. I've been meaning to tell you. You know, I've been. What, homie? What have you been meaning to tell me, huh? That you stabbed me in the back. Or that you were, and always will be, a worthless wretch who deserves to be put under. Yeah, well, no, what Clear the fuck did you come back for? Oh, you know why. Ah, oh, no, no, no. One last score. Mm-hmm. And if it goes good, <laughs> guess what? I don't have to put a little bullet in your head. But if it goes bad, well, that's okay, too. Because then you and I get to go to hell. And I get to spend the rest of eternity with you tormenting you. Well, I guess it's on then. Yeah, I guess it is. Call Lester, let's go. On speakerphone. Hey, it's me. I know, how'd it go? Just fabulous. Ran into an old friend. Matter of fact, he saved my ass. Oh, we're all friends now. Suppose a group hug's out of the question? <laughs> he wants to uh, still go on the final victory tour. All right, when it looks like it's a go, I'll contact you. And remember this, gentlemen. If we pull this off, we will be making history. Sordid, nasty, depraved history. But history, nonetheless. All right. There, you happy? Fucking thrilled. Don't forget, amigo. 
Keep my eye on you. Yeah.